Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you, Nigerians. These uh, Tinubu drugs, scandal, and all that. This issue is still coming up every minute. So you see, the more they try to cover it up, the more more fat you know emerges and all that so that means there is more to this issue there is more to this bola mectinable drug trafficking case this that and money laundering in ux welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you're just joining us please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you bola tinubu the president of Nigeria in in the just concluded presidential election has been described as a drug lord by the members of the opposition parties as how a large amount of money allegedly got into his account in the early 1990s remains a mystery why the member of the All Progressive Congress, APC, have denied any hard drugs-related allegations against President Bola Tinubu? The alleged salary received by Tinubu in 1993 while working in the United States has been reviewed by a, a, an American media. According to a report by the Vanguard, the special assistant on public communication to Atiku Abubaka, Mr. Frank Shebu, said the $460,000 found in Tunubu's account was a result of his hard drug dealing, stressing that there is no way he could gather such amount with his $2,500 dollars monthly salary at the time. He reviewed that Tinubu in 1993 earned 2500 dollars per month while working in the United States. And now the question is how did he get such amount of money? How did he make this money? You understand? You know, when people are talking, it's just like some people just want to talk Bola Med Tinubu, you know, Dan. How did he make this kind of money he has made so far? The, he had millions of dollars in his account, and to escape jail term when he was exposed, he immediately forfeited $460,000 $460, to the U.S. government. Tinubu should know that he cannot outrun his past. He was investigated in relation to heroin trafficking. He had millions of dollars in the account, account while on salary of 2500 monthly, and he forfeited parts of it in order to escape jail. These are facts. Elections are over. And he should stop lying to Nigerians, Shaibu said. Speaking further, the aide to Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who came second behind Tinubu, according to the results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said it was confirmed by the U.S. court that the money forfeited by Tinubu was gotten from Narcotics trafficking. His words. What has been established is that Justice John Nedbock ordered on October 4th, 1993, that the funds in the amount of $460,000 held in the First Heritage Bank in the name of Bola Tenobo represent the proceeds of narcotics trafficking or where. Or were involved in financial transactions in violation of 1-8, the U.S. 19, 
1956 and 1957. He then lambasted Festus Kayamo, a chieftain of the ruling party, for trying to defend Tunubu by stating that the $460,000 was a fine for not paying tax. He added that Tunubu himself confirmed that the money was forfeited in relation to his drug dealings in his recent petition to the presidential election tribunal. Festus Kayamo's law decree really needs to be investigated. One wonders, <laughs> one wonders how he even became a senior advocate. He went on national television to say the 460,000, the 460,000, 460, thousand dollars was a fan for not paying tax. Now Tinubu is telling the election petition tribunal that the money in question was forfeited as part of a court decree in relation to his drug case. No wonder Kayamo lost so many high profile cases with the EFCC. Why was a prosecutor? He said. He further urged Tinubu to explain how millions of dollars we have found in his account in the 1990s uh, while earning 2500 per month, stressing that he should stop lying to Nigerians regarding the issue. Hmm. Elections are over. We are now waiting for the tribunal. Nigerians want to hear from them. But Tinubu is still trying to deceive Nigerians. Is he saying the millions of dollars found in his account just magically appeared there, just as his aide said on live t TV, that the billion vans found on his premises ahead of the 2019 pool and numerously found their way there. Tinubu should stop taking Nigerians for a ride, letting him explain the business he did in order to have such a, a, a such sum of money in his account, he said. Well, these have uh, generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. You know, as it's expected, Nigerians must talk, and Nigerians have been talking concerning this drug uh, trafficking case, you know, by this Bola mate. Well, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up if you have not. Thank you.